One of the areas that have been most impacted by the growth in technologies is strategy, the way we think about strategy. You know, as I mentioned in my introduction video, uh, strategy has been divided in three very large blocks over the past uh, 150 years. The first one from the first Industrial Revolution in, 19, in 1865, around that, to uh, the end of 1970s, where we lived in the, in the era of our operations, where competition was very low, and companies that did something, a product or service well, were very successful. Product or service is not good, you lost it. And then, in 1980s, claim, claim, uh, came globalization. Companies start invading each other's countries. We have seen a world with less barriers. So the shift started to be, to be not just on operations, but on the competition you just had to really kill your competition. <laughs> and um, many companies are successful to do that. Think about here in Brazil, we're, uh, we're, we were dominated by five large banks. And the way that banks were successful was to build agencies. If you think about uh, a bank called Nubank here in Brazil, which has 45 million customers, and does not have one agency. So how does that happen? The customer is in the center. No more competition is in the center. Important to see competition, important to learn about competitors, but you have to think about the customer. And it's surrounded by um, data, which gives you insights of what the customer wants and needs, the transformations. Culture, like Peter Drucker says, culture, eat strategy for breakfast every morning. Agile systems, customer in the center, all that to provoke innovation continuously. This uh, lecture, seminar, workshop is very practical, full of examples on how technology is changing, the way we think about strategy. And I'll be, able to, I'll be glad to share with you all these insights to help you to become even more successful.